Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to give you a first look at Adobe Illustrator CC for 2015, especially as it relates to performance and crash recovery. So let's take a look at performance first. Now I've got a pretty complex Illustrator document open here, and it's, it, it's got lots of little things going on as we're seeing this factory, this monolith factory being built. Um, and in the past, if you wanted to zoom in, you'd grab your zoom tool, and you would either click and zoom in one piece at a time, or you would grab your marquee, you know, drag a marquee around it with the zoom tool so you could zoom in a little further. And then once you were zoomed in, if you wanted to pan around, you'd hold down your space bar and you'd kind of pan around in this kind of little, you know, kind of choppy view. Well, now that's all a thing of the past. Let me zoom back out. If I hit um, my keyboard for bringing up my preferences, Command K on the Mac, uh, Control K on Windows. If I go to my GPU performance, this is brand new inside Illustrator CC for 2015. So I have the ability to turn on GPU performance, which it's on by default. I turned it off so you can see the difference. Uh, if you have a graphics uh, accelerated graphics card, it will take advantage of the chip on that card to do some of the um, heavy, heavy lifting that we used to always rely on the, the regular processor to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that. And now that that's been turned on, instead of me clicking or dragging a marquee to zoom in, I can just drag, just like in Photoshop, and it zooms in pretty much in real time. That's phenomenal, and that's great to be able to do that. The next thing is, once I'm zoomed in, if I want to pan around, I get to pan around in real time, no lag whatsoever. So that's what we mean by performance. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. And we're going to talk about something else that's relatively new, and I think you're going to appreciate it, especially if you've ever had this problem before. Let's go ahead and just uh, grab a text tool. Let's just type the word hello, and we'll go ahead and make that uh, larger font. And I'm done with my change. Now, of course, I have not saved any of this yet. As a matter of fact, whenever you see the little asterisk symbol, uh, that lets you know your document has not been saved. So I've not done any saves to this yet. And um, one of the things that we can appreciate if you're an InDesign user is that InDesign has had this great thing pretty much since day one called crash recovery. If you unexpectedly quit or your computer lost power or some other mishap happened, uh, when you launched InDesign again, most likely you would get right back to where you left off, even on an unsaved, untitled document. Well, now that legendary crash performance has made its way into Illustrator. So while the performance is great and it's a lot of work under the hood to make this kind of performance in Illustrator, and it's one of the things that people have been asking for for years, we also built in crash recovery along the way as well while we we're under the hood doing all of these changes. So let's take a look at how it works. Now, I, you know, Illustrator is working great, so it didn't crash on me, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it crash. I'm going to do the uh, keyboard shortcut here on the Mac to bring up force quit. So I'm going to force quit Illustrator that's been running just fine and make it quit. And say, are you sure you want to force quit? Yes, I just want to force quit. I know I'm going to lose any unsaved changes in the normal world. But now when I launch Illustrator again, even though I didn't save that, it will come back up and it will basically say, hey, Illustrator unexpectedly quit any open documents that could be recovered uh, with unsaved information are named, whatever the file name was, recovered. So if I click OK and open this back up, I get my document with my hello because it's been recovered. Now I can go ahead and save this with whatever title I want to give it or you know save it with the original name if I want and I'm right back to where I left off when I type that hello even though I didn't save it. So you can work a lot happier, faster, better in Illustrator, better performance, and you don't have to worry as much if you forgot to save or didn't save every few seconds because Illustrator has your back. It's saving for you in the background so that it can recover if something happens. Take care and check out Illustrator CC for 2015.